So, so then what is the role of an IT in a modern organization? It's essentially, you're going to, your job is to make the organization efficient and you use technology as a tool. But we're going to change the way we take a look at what is essentially you know, the secret sauce for everything. Because when we look at automation, and that's what people turn to IT for, process sits at the heart of automation. Process first, automation follows. Get the process right, understand what the issue is, then go automate it. If you're working with somebody on a business problem, you're actually trying to find out what's wrong with the process. And then you're going to go ahead and build an IT solution to go ahead and fix that. So IT should be a consumer of technology as opposed to the generator. Because there are people who are out there now who are better at generating that technology than you're going to be. And they're going to play at scales that you can't play at. Now, I mean, truly, if you think you can do it yourself cheaper, sure, you should by all means, right? But odds are pretty good you're not going to be able to. And so what you want to do is stop trying to build your own technology. Stop trying to build an engine and instead learn how to drive the technology. So, you know, most IT organizations, they're technology focused. They know how to build the engines, but they don't necessarily know how to drive the car. And what you want to be able to do is to be strategic. You have to think about what process is about at that point in time and then say, how am I going to change how IT interacts with the process in order to be able to fix the data flow, get single sources of record, and do those things. It's not about building your own biggest data warehouse. It's not about building your own biggest uh, MySQL solution or anything else like that. Those kinds of things can be had cheap elsewhere. So think of it as the 80-20 rule. 80% of your time would be integrating technology. 20% of the time would be building it yourself. So what do CEOs want? You know, for your organization, if you're, if you're owning IT, they want you to deliver IT solutions. That's one of the things that they want from you. What else do they want? They want you to improve the business. And they also want you to assert leadership. Now, the thing I mentioned before about uh, making these slides available, I want to mention this. There's a link down here that you'll find when you eventually get the slide. There's some great slide share out there from Terry White, who's from CXO Advisor. When I talked with Terry last, he said they actually looked at about 100 IT companies and their strategies. And they asked him how much time they spent on each of these things, and they did the research. And essentially, delivering IT solutions comes out at 76%, 22% for improve the business, and whatever little is left over, because we're all so busy, gets applied to doing those annual reviews once a year that you don't pay attention to any of the people until the very last minute, and, and then try to determine their fate. It's really kind of sad. But, what, a, but what, does a, what does a CEO want, right? So ask your CEO what she wants, and what she'd tell you is, you know, the solutions, you know, is not as big a deal as you think it is. They want to do what? Improve the business. That's all a CEO wants to do, is improve the business. And some of you might think, I'm here to do an IT solution. No, you're not. You're here to improve the business. That's what it's all about. And so essentially, if you're delivering what people want, most of your time should be in improving the business. A lot more of your time should be in leadership that wasn't. And then over here, that's the 20% where you deliver the IT solutions that you cannot find off the shelf or as a commodity that you put together. Those of you who just had that lunch and listened to the keynote speaker, what did he talk about? Right? Grabbing off the shelf components and innovation came from how they were put together. You don't get bonus points by taking stuff that's that's fairly high end and putting it together and saying, well, I know I'm going to be able to keep my job because I'm going to buy this Exadata and that's going to solve the problem, right? Because it's Exadata. Or, you know, in the past you used to say, if I bought IBM, you know, I won't get fired. You know, well, you might not get fired, but I tell you one thing is you're, you're actually becoming a drag on your company because you're, while you might provide a solution, you're wasting a lot of money, you know, and you're wasting a lot of energy.